black look but been finding it's bleeding through to the back of your page then these are the ones for you now this particular set that you can see here are your fine liners and these ones are oh has that moved across oh there we go it's moved across there um so with these oh no so which colors are these ones in oh it's choices of sizes oh we haven't got a card for the earth that's what threw me but the earth has got two greens in there so you've got kind of shades in there um but it just gives you an illustration there of the thickness so your solid line there you can do kind of your wavy lines to perfection and of course adding in your dotted areas these are brilliant i love using these when i stamp because i'm not the strongest of stampers so they're good filler in us and you kind of add swirls and dots and little borders and things with them really creative and you've got choices with these you've got a full hand saving on these which is a brilliant saving 12.99 as well um, and of course i do need to mention to you that everything that we're chatting about during this hour has got a 14 day extended delivery and she's the 19th of june gosh already my goodness 916538 if you fancy getting hold of either of those two of course if you do decide that you want to go for both of them then you can they're on the same item number so there's no additional post and packing there for you so yeah pop those ones into your basket but before you check your basket i gave you a little sneaky peek with that card showing you the back set that we've got here and this is where you've got those gradients of intensity so uh, you've got fine line you've also got your brush pen featuring in here as well so if you want to kind of get that almost like a calligraphy look potentially with this if you're into you kind of you letter art um, you're going to really get some fabulous results with these and you can see there from the imagery on the packaging really brilliant for you if you're wanting to do your, your kind of your your true life um, representations of uh, things this will show you the selection that you've got in here so again you're going from your um, 0 0.05 right the way through to your 08 as you can see there so a good range there of widths with those go even wider though of course with your brush there so you can see there and the brush it has got a very kind of fluid nib to it um, uh, and that means that you can do little tiny pieces if you want very light touch going much more intense with that press that you've got there as well now you've got your pn and that's standing for plastic nibble i've learned something there this hour i was not aware so what's the benefit of that lottie of, of plastic nib Oh, it's so uh, it's a bit more hard wearing. Ah, oh, I see. So if you're using it for like everyday kind of jotting, journaling, things like that, um, then uh, yeah, that's the one to go for. Well, I didn't know that because I've not seen this set before. So uh, 14 99 is going to get these. And of course, when you do look at the packaging there, you can see how it's illustrated. It's the one with a little blue marking around there, um, as you can see. Um, and that's got a different nib, as you can see, to the others. You've got the little tiny fine detail nib there. So if you are using them on a, a regular daily basis, say if you're doing things like planning and journaling, you're going to use something like that potentially. Um, but of course if you want to get very artistic with your journaling then do use some of those others as well use them that's the key thing don't just sit and look at them again archive also again they've got that um, longevity um, <laughs> longevity is that the word i always get mixed up on that too many too many syllables in it <laughs> but 744755 for that lovely set and i love the fact they're in a case as well so uh, you can see if you've got any missing now jelly rolls again this is another brand that's been going or should i say a range that's been going for a long long time and i love this because it's a bit like you know a selection box at christmas you get a little bit of everything that's what you've got in here so of course the extended range is your glitter and your metallics and your fluorescence there's loads out there but this gives you kind of a, a few of each of those predominantly your stardust as you can see which are always popular because they're the ones that have got that gorgeous glitter in there your metallics as well they've got a lovely kind of uh, well metallic finish to them pretty obvious really and then you've got those wonderful fluorescence in there that sits so beautifully on your black cardstock you can see an illustration there on the packaging showing you the vibrancy that you've got with these the gorgeous glitters in there and this is a, a no shed glitter because it's actually all part of the um, kind of the manipulation within the pen um, and perfect as you can see there if you're into things like your zen doodling alongside your micron pens these are going to be absolutely a dream to work with as well 30 pounds and 95 pence and apparently 1984 that's when discovered the gel ink so there you go and of course you've got that fabulous um, system where the um, uh, the application of uh, the well I call it ink but it isn't ink but you know what I mean the contents of the pen you've got that kind of almost like a valve system with the, the roller ball in there which means you get a really easy application it doesn't kind of blob everywhere and that kind of thing if you fancy these nice little set there 30 pounds and 95 pence you've got 11 pounds saving on these and you've got 24 pens in total fun writing coloring and more as you can see from the pack that's a nice one to invest in now I must admit I did drool over this little watercolor set when we came in this morning it's just so compact and portable 
Love it. So you've got all these gorgeous watercolor, um, watercolors now. You've got 24 of those. Um, let me turn that around so you can have a little look here. You've got loads in here. You've got your water brush, which comes, and of course you've got obviously your two parts with regards to I've got it upside down, but it's easier to show you this way around. You've got your sponges at the side of there as well, so of course that's going to hold a little bit of water. And you've got these little holes in here. Now that is because when you're taking it on your travels, you're going to take the little legs that you've got from your palette, place it in there, and that is going to protect everything. But what happens is when you get to your destination or whenever you want to to do your painting you lift that out and that will sit there so you literally have got it at the same level as your paints there I think it's a really clever idea and of course you've got that larger palette down there if you do want a larger area nice white finish as well so you're gonna get true color blend with these and obviously you've got rooms there for your primaries and you've got lots of different elements there but does it clip onto the side I would say it does so oh, okay. oh, is it? oh gosh <laughs> It's your fault, Lottie, for telling me to look at the side. I'm going to blame you. <laughs> oh, I see. So then you've got your three. Oh, that's clever. We like it even more now. What a clever idea. Fabulous. So there you go. If you fancy getting hold of yours, then the details on your screen, just £29.99. Of course, Koi, again, it's another one of those names in there. And you've got some lovely colours in here. So is that what we've got here? The watercolours. Oh, my goodness. Wow. On black cardstock, you don't often get, when you think of watercolour, well I personally, when I think of watercolour, sometimes you think of more kind of uh, translucent colours, things that aren't quite as bold, but look at these, these are going onto your black cardstock as well as your white, the metallics down there are fabulous, look at those, beautiful, and again the pearls, they've got a wonderful finish to them. So these are perhaps a little bit different to any watercolour paints that you've got because I've not come across things with metallics and pearls in there. They tend to be kind of uh, your, your regular palettes. These ones are quite a specialist one, aren't they? With those gorgeous fluorescents in there as well. And of course, don't forget, you can mix and blend those together to get all sorts of different results. Talking of which, we've got a few little ideas here of how you could work with them. And again, look at that on the black cardstock. Wow. That is effective, isn't it? amazing um, and of course you've got oh we've got black watercolor um, card coming up in the show as well gain the vibrancy use them on your regular watercolor cardstock very effective use them with regards to your stamps as well I mean have a look at that isn't that fabulous and again getting those kind of little washes in place those gradients those ombres talking of which have a look at that oh that's effective isn't it back to your black cardstock as well I mean these are amazing to sit on top of the surface there all that gorgeous metallic nature coming through so yeah if you fancy getting hold of these these are a lovely set lovely set to go for. I think they're gonna be one of the most used sets that you've got within your watercolor palette so uh, yeah 694 744 if you fancy getting hold of those do pop them into your basket and as I say highly portable in the way that they come together very clever design so uh, yeah, like those ones. Um, yeah, take advantage of those. Now, the clatterbang that you heard earlier on was me knocking these off the fabulous little stand that we've got. Now, we've got a set of four pens here. So what you've got in here is you've got your metallics and you've got your silver, your gold, your copper and you've also got your white in there. So of course white perfect for adding those little dots of accents and highlights. Now we've got a little example here again on your black cardstock because they'll go on anything. Uh, they can go on glass, tiles, mirrors. Um, they sit beautifully on um, your black cardstock. Now the top here that's talking about the glitter and um, the gl quickie glue pens we'll be talking about in a few moments. But down at the bottom there have a look at that. Oh it's gilding flakes that. In fact that's jumped across jumped across well it hadn't jumped it was just in the wrong place to start with but never mind <laughs> now with these it's a bit confusing sometimes when you look at these because the colors are so vibrant now with these you've got um, a nice fine tip so you might have come across these pens before and they've got more of a fiber tip to them so um, sometimes they've got like a chisel tip as well or a bullet nib with these ones you have got the fine detail it's almost similar to the microns that we've been looking at and that one's got more of a bullet tip as you can see and when you get these home you'll notice that there's a ball bearing in there and give them a good shake each time you use them and if you have got the white tip as you can see on this one then you will need to prime it so just get hold of the lid 
and then just press down. I'm not going to do it on this one, but press down just a few times, release it, press it, and probably after about three or four different presses, you'll see that the colour will start flooding into that nib there. You only ever have to do that for the first time that you use them because after that, that flow going right the way back into the barrel there will be continual. So uh, really nice pens, um, and again, a lovely set to go for if you're into your metallic. So I'm going to pop those back down there. And the white as well, that white's a very, very useful one. Now, quickie glue pens. We love our quickie glue pens. And this is a good price. Now I can show you. Now I can show you the board here. Um, and uh, th this is a brilliant set because you're getting six of these for $12.99. And, of course, quickie glue pens can be used in a whole host of ways. So here, as I was talking about earlier on, gilding flakes. Trace around the lines um, that you're drawing. And when you actually lay them down, what you'll get is like a, a kind of a, a pale blue effect. So kind of like a translucent look. It will dry eventually um, in just a few moments, to be honest. It doesn't take long at all, and it becomes clear. Now, at that point, it's still tacky. So that tackiness will mean that you can adhere a variety of different things to it, including things like your gilding flakes. Also means that you can adhere things like your glitters, which is what we can see at the top here. I mean, look at that. Isn't that fabulous? If you're going for multicolour effects, then just kind of colour in the area that you're wanting to do with your quickie glue pen, apply your glitter and then move on to the next area. Over the side here, you've got foil as well, cold foiling with those. That's very effective as well, isn't it? Now, when you do get them home, let me explain to you. I don't know whether these ones have been primed. Got it without knocking the whole lot over. Um, you will find that when you get yours home, let me just hold that against the cardstock there, you can see that you've got like a little kind of um, bubble. It's almost like a little bead sitting on the top. Now that is protecting the little ball point that you've got in there. All you need to do is just literally remove that with your fingers. It's a little tiny bead, you don't need it. Um, and then uh, you can see that it's ready to go. Again, just prime it, press it um, down um, onto your cardstock like so, and then you'll get the kind of the, um, the, the, the little bubbles will come through because obviously it's, it's releasing that glue and it comes through. And uh, 90 seconds for it to dry. I'm not going to pop that back down because you know what will happen if I try and pop the one down. All the other fives will fall away. So uh, there you go, 12 99 You are going to get six. Ooh. <gasps> There you go. <laughs> five two five seven six four. Oh my goodness, my stress levels have gone through the roof. So if you fancy yours, pop them into your basket. And of course, if you do want to stock up on them, by all means, do go for a couple of quantities of those. Now, I was talking about the um, black cardstock. That's what we're looking at next. And this is lovely. Really good size. Of course, nice if you're wanting to work on a large project, but because it's larger, you can cut it down as well. Now, it's a watercolour paper um, and it's black in finish. So that's where you're going to see those gorgeous metallics and interference colours coming through if you've got those within your stash. Of course, that watercolour um, palette we looked at a few moments ago, this is going to be a match made in heaven. Now, you've got um, in here, it's um, 360 GSM. So it's a really good weight with regards to well, it's cardstock, isn't it, more so than a paper, really? I think the watercolour and the artist words will it's kind of a little bit different because, I mean, it says paper on there, but you and I know that in the craft industry, we would not call that paper. We would not call that paper at all. 360 GSM. Now, I wouldn't say that this is a construction cardstock because if you're going to use it for construction, then I'm going to come around and take it off you, to be honest, because it's a much better quality that, that you would use for those. Now, it's cold pressed, so it's got a lovely fine grain to it, which means that you're not going to get a lot of kind of peaks and troughs, but a little bit of texture in there. And of course, your, um, your artwork's going to sit beautifully on top of it. I mean, look at this. And that's the beauty of this, those fabulous bubbles there, the highlight there of the white. Don't forget using things like the white pen that we saw a few moments ago, you can be able to add those accents, but isn't that amazing? Love it. Lots and lots of detail. Again, if you have just joined us, just to let you know, extended delivery on all of the goodies that we're sharing with you during this hour. It's the 19th of June. You can see the details mentioned that on the screen there. But if you're wanting your black um, pad, then there you go, 062924. Um, pop that into your basket. Now, if you want your paper sheets or your um, cardstock to have a lighter look to them, then these are brilliant. Now, wait for this. Price on your screen there, $16.99. You could be forgiven for thinking that you're going to choose a couple of these or maybe just get one of them, but you're not. You're going to get all three. And I love these because you could have them for different occasions, couldn't you? Now, they're worth that, just £5.66 each. Now, you can see there they've got a fabulous hard cover. I'll take you through those pages in a few moments, but you've got 80 sheets in there. Um, a really nice weight with this, 140 GSM, so really good. Oh, it actually says 160 on the screen, so perhaps there's a mix within there. Um, but you've got a really good weight within those, so, uh, yeah. Yes, you could see you could actually be decorating these if you wanted to as well. Um, so, oh, it's grams, isn't it? 
Is it grams? Where, apparently, oh, I get confused. I get confused. But um, it's a good weight either way. Now, we've got little stickers on here. What is this? Dem oh, we've got demos. Oh, look at this. We've got the lovely Lou, and she's labelled everything up. So, demo number two. She's going to be using the sketchbook. I've got another little... Oh, here you go. Sketch in there, if you wanted to do your pencil, your line drawings there. Looks very much like... Oh, I don't know what that is. First of all, I looked at it, and I don't know why I thought air conditioning unit, but it's not. It looks like it's a bottle or a jar, doesn't it? Um, then, uh, of course, you've got those... I don't know why you draw an air conditioning unit, but you, somebody must have done it at some point. They got designs, didn't they? Um, and then you've got your pages. <laughs> it's not as daft as it might seem. I can hear you giggling lots in the gallery there. Now, look at this. Oh, there you go. Using those brush pens, as you can see there. And the micron pens are just adding the did. What a lovely way of setting out your week there. Oh, June 2020 cancelled. <laughs> Love that. What a fabulous idea. And that's a nice idea as well. Fussy cutting, stamping, fussy cutting around the edge there. I love that. Newer every day. Mm, can't say as I'm feeling that at four o'clock in the morning when I look at the, clock, the uh, mirror, but um, I'll, I will channel those thoughts. Um, Lou, looking forward to those demonstrations um, during the hour, but the details on your screen, if you're wanting to get hold of your um, sketchbooks, details there, £16.99, you've got £5 saving, One eight two one three nine. do pop them into your basket. And again, if you want to go for multiples, you can do. Fabulous gift, especially if you're teaming them up with a set of the pens as well, really nice, especially if you've got a budding artist coming up. Have a look at these, though. Talk about being spoiled for choice wow this one here is a pick and mix for you and you can choose any three packs so you're going to get nine pens in total they can be any choice of these now we're looking at jelly roll so we're looking at the best with regards to these and you've got your choices you've got lots of your stardust so we saw some of the stardust featuring in that kind of selection pack earlier on but this time you're kind of honing in and you're getting a grade as kind of three gradients of color within there so groups of greens and purples and pinks we've also got your moonlight for less for a lesson which do sit on the top of the surface a brilliant if you've gone for that black cardstock you've got your metallics there as well which have got a shiny more so than a glittery um, result um, and again there you can see those in little groups you've also got some new additions to the range as well now down at the front um, as we pan across you'll see you've still got your metallics you've got your moonlights there as well do keep an eye on the caps as well because there's a lovely kind of indexing system with regards to these, so you know exactly what your pen does now check these out if you've not got these in the, your stash already, how convenient is this? All three of these. Now, you've got your fine, you've got your bold, and you've got a selection of where you're going to get a range of them. So, are you doing an outline? Then go for your fine. Are you doing an infill? Then go for those um, thicker ones there, the, the bold. But then if you are doing a mixture of the two, then do check out the ones where you've got the gradients in there. I think those three are going to be very, very popular. £14.99. And again here, shall I very quickly show you some of these samples? So, this is showing you here. Whoops, a daisy. I'll get that one in a second. Um, you've got your fine at the top. These are the whites that we've just been talking about. So, there you go. You've got your 0 0.3. Then you have got there your 0 0.5, giving you more of a bolder finish, or maybe as an infill. And then finally there, you can see you've got your mix. So you've got your three, fours and fives there. Aren't they fabulous? Colour-wise, you've got your different groupings here. So just a few of those. You've got your happy there with those lovely kind of sherbet tones there. Your sweets with your pinks through to your purples. But don't they look different between the two? Amazingly so. Love it. Um, you've got your forest with your greens there, your oceans, as you can see. Um, if you're wanting more of a metallic look, then obviously it's the metallics you're going to look at. And you can see sometimes that when you're actually showing the pens, and you'll see it on the metallics, it almost gave like a, a glittery cap. Just to reiterate, it is more of a metallic finish. And again, fabulous on your white and your black there, as you can see, going right the way through all those different colours. What have we got on this one here? I think these are some of your fluorescents with your moonlights. Oh, look at that. See, look at that. Look at that on your black cardstock. That is amazing. Fourteen ninety nine. Do check them out. They are all on the website. So uh, yeah, and they do work well together. So the sweets there from the fl uh, fluorescence. Maybe you're going to add them in from your sweets from your uh, stardust. You can do. There's not an issue at all. It's your pick and mix. You choose. Four six two five six two. If you're wanting those, what a convenient number to read out. Do like that one. Now lots more to share with you. So what can I tempt you with? Now oil pastels. Now we don't have these for me to physically show you them, but quite often. Oh, those don't. As I say, those look more like. 
like oil pastels. I thought they'd change the style of them for a moment then. I thought, ingenious. Um, so these are your traditional um, sets, as you can see. You've got 50 different oil pastels in there. Um, little really does go a long way with these. And you've got a £10 saving. They come in a very convenient box, as you can see there, um, at £28.99. pence. Now, koi brushes. You will get a little, um, a kind of little taste of these in the water brush set that we looked at. But this is a lovely colouring system here. You got your blender pen with these. Um, you can see you've got your colour brush pens as well. So these are all blendable. Using that blending um, brush that you've got there, it just means that you can kind of go, um, kind of flow from one colour to the next without those harsh colours. Twenty-four pounds. A brilliant for your brush lettering and things like that as well. And I love the colour palette that you've got there. Perfect for this season. So a nice dye base ink as well, so of course you've got the vibrancy of those colours, so you're going to enjoy those ones. So um, 592830.